Not or shake reviews. Willie not or Willie shake. Yeah! Dotson. We got Dotson over here. Hey. Hello, uh, Johnny here with uh, Jim Bobby. Welcome to another thing of not or shake reviews. Not if it's good. Shake if it's not so good. Either way, you check it out because you might find your new favorite movie. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and all that jazz. We've got a lot of movies this month. Uh, some streaming, some in theaters, so more stuff to check out. Alrighty, on to the review. Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, I can't see what you're doing, but based on <sighs> the commentary throughout the whole movie in the empty theater, you gave it a shake. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, big time. I, I fucking... I did not like this movie. I uh, did not. Any re any reason why? No, you go first. I'm going to take this off just in case you can't hear me correctly. It just didn't work for me. I, I feel like this was supposed to be like the Avengers of the Jurassic Park films or the, you know, all the legacy sequels that have been coming out. Uh, spoiler, minor spoilers for this review. When, like, the two group met... <laughs> Like, from the different movies, I, I didn't care. I was like, okay, whatever. I just don't care about the Jurassic World characters. I, I was never a fan of that franchise, so I really didn't connect at all. And there was, like, this whole family thing, and you just didn't care. So, I have a lot of problems with it, actually, but we like to keep it short here at Niner Shake Reviews. Uh, what say you, Jim Bobby? You like to keep it short. I I I have like so many things to say. Like yeah, well, you like to keep it short, so maybe I shouldn't talk at all. I hate this movie. <sighs> Every thing about this movie is awful, and it's and it's just laughing at its audience. It is laughing, collecting dollar bills from its audience, going ha ha ha. All we have to do is put a Barbasol can in the in the goddamn movie and people would be like oh man Jurassic Park I love that movie from 1993 directed by Steven Spielberg this one not any of that is true and it sucks Dodson Dodson is the villain for some reason yeah Dodson the guy who was from the first one who gave the Barbasol can to Ned uh, Dendry uh, Wayne Knight Newman 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 he gave the Barbasol can to Newman, and all of a sudden, this guy is the villain. And it's, like, not even the same actor, so if they didn't, like, constantly remind you of who he was, you wouldn't even know. Oh, my God, they said his name a thousand times. Yeah. It was almost like they were doing what Newman did in the movie, where he was like, Dotson, yeah. Dotson, we got Dotson here, everybody. You like Jurassic Park, right? This is Dotson, everybody. I, I also just felt like... The, the the veterans of the series, Samuel, Jeff Goldblum. Oh, they the collected that paycheck. I I feel like they were playing. They were they were people trying to be the characters that they were all those years ago. I just felt like first off, Samuel was just there. That character, that character itself did. There was no reason for there was for me. There was no justification for any of the older. Characters well, when you have there. when you have the. Raptor professional uh, Chris Pratt there, who literally came up with the force uh, for for dinosaurs. Who knew? Who knew that he all you had that. to do was this? Let me tell you, if Chris Pratt was in Jurassic Park 1993, that movie would have been over in two minutes. Oh, for real? He would have gotten any, but he would have made it so you know those the the painting with all of the dogs playing poker. He just put his hand out. He would have gotten Raptors playing poker. That's what I'm talking about. And then there was actually a scene. I shit you not. Now, when... What's his name? Sam Neill? Sam Neill. <laughs> when Sam Neill was in the first one, it wasn't that he could control dinosaurs with his very will. No, because it's a force of nature. You stick your hand out, you're not leaving that room with the hand. Yeah. Humanity does not exist if dinosaurs are still roaming the planet. Which, guess what, everybody? At the end of this movie, we live in happily ever after with dinosaurs. Living everywhere, every, everywhere. You're driving to work, you got a raptor right next to you. I'm getting angry, but this is ridiculous. This is beyond f 
fucking ridiculous. And I'm I, cursing. I, I, I'm, I just, I, I, I think the, the other weird thing was they added like a, like another story to it. Like the main problem was bugs of, of like, they, they really did not need <laughs> to add, bugs. they did not need to add any more plot. Just, just put a movie of what it would be like if humans lived with dinosaurs. That's it. Let me tell you, it's a stupid ass plot. But goddamn, I would see that movie a thousand times. But instead, they they tried to they they added just more. It was such a long movie. Uh, uh, yeah, as, as if it so wasn't. Long. Yeah, too long, too Holy long, way shit. too long. But if it wasn't bad enough that dinosaurs, carnivores, are r around the planet now, somehow. All of the dinosaurs, including the T-Rex, they were able to hop on boats and get over to England and New York and Paris. And they literally inhabit the entire world. The entire world. And their biggest problem are giant locusts. Because they had to add that. That's what Johnny's talking about. Yeah. This makes utterly no sense. Yeah. No sense. Dinosaurs had to die in order for us to become apex predators, the top of the food chain. Just because you can get ate up by a great white doesn't mean we're not at the top of the food chain. We're at the top. You put anybody above us, we're gone. No more. Period. Uh, we're done. I one final note. I think what I when you for me when I'm younger, the cool thing about Jurassic Park was seeing dinosaurs. When I got older, the cool thing about Jurassic Park for me was. The question of should we be doing this, and I like that. It, the 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 reason why that it didn't work, it was it was because there were dinosaurs. It was basically answering the question that for some reason this question just this movie asked again is should humans live with dinosaurs? And basically the answer is no. But then they and got not only that, but the science behind it. Should we tamper with something? That exactly. We be then they got like little crazy, like. They were able to control the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. Oh yeah. Could oh. Play Angry Birds. Well, like, I mean, all right. I, I, I don't even understand this premise that they needed. So they they created technology so that they can control and herd the dinosaurs because they do travel in herds, people, uh, to where they wanted to go. They could they could do that, and they and they did the thing with the raptors where you laser beam a target and the raptors will go attack you. They actually did that. They talked about it in the last movie, but no. Now they went ahead and said, yeah, we know the fans didn't like that, but we're going to do it anyway. And then, but they went through all this trouble. Meanwhile, you can just fucking hire a bunch of Chris Pratt's, man. Okay. That one hand move. I'm not even kidding. At one point, every one of the characters did the hand move at the same time in the camera to control a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's ridiculous. It's so bad. Alrighty, thanks for cringing. We will see you next time when we review Lightyear. Alrighty, thanks for cringing. Bye-bye. Where's my thing? Be better, Hollywood. <laughs> oh.